Hey man, I really don't know how how how, how these some of these uh. I don't know how how some of these drug dealers these days be, you know, how they get down, you know, like, like it's crazy to me, like, you know, like, how you how you sell dope, but your ass still broke. I had a motherfucker call me up talking about, man, hey, uh, I I need a ride. I said, motherfucker, they got Uber. How the fuck you so dope if you broke, motherfucker? Hello, Los Angeles! I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the 420 Podcast with your boy, with your main man, Donnie Danko. How y'all doing tonight, today, tomorrow, and any other time that you listen to this broadcast? I want to talk about a lot of things today. A lot of things on my mind, man. You know, because, uh, you know, this life is crazy. And all I keep seeing is crazy ass shit every time. Uh, drive up in the studio and shit, you know, outside, it's like, I mean, it's, it really is something ridiculous, but, um, without no, uh, you know, without no real pause, I really want to talk about, um, you know, the NBA Finals, I want to congratulate the Denver Nuggets on winning their first championship title. I know that's big time for the city, you know, because y'all ain't had no motherfucking championship since what? The goddamn Denver Broncos? Uh, I think the Avalanche, I don't know. I don't even know. Who gives a fuck? Colorado, who gives a fuck? Anyways, but yeah, um, Denver Nuggets. Y'all won a motherfucking championship and it's great, you know, because, like, I always like the Denver Nuggets, you know what I mean? Because it's just a funny-ass fucking name. And, uh, you know, because every time I fucking uh, think about the Denver Nuggets, I think about McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, you know? And I'm like, shit, I need some barbecue sauce and some sweet and sour sauce. I need some Chicken McNuggets, right? <laughs> I mean, real talk, I think that's a lot of motherfuckers. Shit, I'm about to eat some fucking nuggets out there. You know, like, that's how we feel. But, uh, no, but, like, I fuck with the nuggets, man. You know, um, Carmelo Anthony, uh, who's that? J.R. Smith, you know, uh, Chauncey Phillips, you know, like, uh, you know, like, when Iverson, like, came in later on, like, like, you know, like, that nuggets was fucking sick, you know? They had a fucking shot, you know? Obviously, the Lakers fucking whooped their ass, and, you know, they really didn't make no much, uh, not too much noise since then. But, you know, um, we've seen the rise of the, the, the new Nuggets team that's been happening in the last, uh, I would say, like five years, right? You know, um, we've seen that, you know, like just through the draft and everything. And, you know, um, you know um, I don't know. I mean, I want to go back five more years. Um, you know, cause, cause you know they got Nikola Jokic. Uh, man, it's it's actually been like possibly five years. I don't know. I don't know how 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 long he's been in the league, but I think it's been at least five years. But you know, with uh with Nikola Jokic, you know, and uh, and then they got Jamal Murray and that squad. Like the last three to four years, like I mean that team, you know. With those two, the, that tandem has been, like, exceptional, you know? Like, I know because I'm a sports better, too, you know? And uh, I definitely, you know, was betting on everybody, like, especially the Denver Knights, you know? Because, uh, you know, over, under, da-da-da, you know, that, that that type of thing, you know, like, you know, Jamal Murray, 
You know, he always came, came correct. Like, I know I won some good time, parlay bets off the points over and under on Jamal Murray. And, uh, you know, coupled it up with, like, a few other guys and shit. But, uh, yeah, he was, he was always good for it, you know. Well, before he got injured. And, uh, and then, like, you know, what really, what really, uh, you know, what really it got me really excited about the Denver Nuggets was, I, you know, it was, it was during the bubble. You know, like, how that went, like, two, uh, two consecutive series where, it, like, you know, there was, like, a big-time deficit on, like, you know, how many, like, you know, like, the wins. Like, I think there was down, like, 3-1-1, one and one, like, I don't know. I mean, there was down, like, zero and, like, motherfucking, like, two, like, some, sh- I don't know. Look, don't quote me on, on that shit, homie. <laughs> no, nah, real talk, like, don't quote me on it, but I know that was fucked up, you know, and, uh, and uh, one of them, like, they played uh, the Utah Jazz, and it was like, man, that shit was fucking epic, and I watched most of that series and how they came back, and, man, I mean, they did their thing, and, you know, like, I think it was like, I don't know, like, it was, it, was, it was a ridiculous game, you know, it was like Jamal Murray versus fucking Donovan Mitchell, and, uh, you know, Nikola Jokic, she was in the mix too, but it really was that, and then I think um, somewhere down the line, Jamal Murray got that uh, big time injury, and, he, you know, he, he got sidelined for uh, a couple years, um, and I mean, when, when I seen that, I was like, you know what, they next up, they next up, they gonna get that shit, and... Truth be told, they they got it. They got it, you know. They finally got it. So I want to congratulate the Denver Nuggets on a hard-fought, um, you know, season and a hard-fought series and a title win. You guys did the goddamn thing, and I think Joker, Joker. Uh, Yokola Jokic, you know, Nikola, Nikola Jokic, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Man, I really think, I, I really think we should get, uh, get a new nickname for him because, you know, uh, Joker? Really? Got me thinking that motherfucking Mexican. I'm fucking drunk. Got out early in the morning. But, you know, I had to do the podcast, folks, honey. I had to do it. Uh, but, yeah, um... You know, I mean, hey, he's one hell of a player. I, I mean, he is exceptional. You know, he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, n- not in the slightest, but a little bit, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, um, like, Dirk Nowitzki, you know, like, he, I, and that's not because he's, like, fucking white and, you know, and, like, European and shit. Like, no, no. It's just like, you know, he's just tall. Motherfucker can shoot, pass, motherfucker can play the post, you know what I'm saying, like, not not that Dirk, Dirk could not play the post like that, no, but Dirk could shoot, you know, and Dirk could pass, um, but Nikola is, you know, he is, like, he, he definitely is another unicorn, you know, I don't know why they was giving, like, Porzingis all that fucking, like, credit, because that motherfucker didn't really... He didn't really do shit yet. I mean, nah, he's, he's not done yet, but he hasn't done shit. I know he, I know he's fucking super tall and shit. I think he, he has potential to be, like, uh, you know, somebody that can really fucking, you know, be exceptional if the work was put in. But no, you know, he, he's not about it. But this Serbian motherfucker, man, he is a fucking real deal. I think they're going to fucking repeat. They might do a three-peat. This might be the new fucking Shaq and Kobe real talk, and fuck, I love Kobe, and I don't want none of that shit to happen, but straight up, this is a fucking tandem not to fuck with, real talk, you know? I wish we had that motherfucking some purple and gold, for real. Nikola Jokic, yeah, we need that motherfucking some purple and gold, for real. Fucking Rob Palenka, get that shit done. If you're still a fucking GM when that motherfucker's contract fucking expires for real. We need that. We need that. Especially after LeBron leaves because, man, 
That dude is fucking nigga. I mean, he is, he's going to be the face of the franchise and the face of the fucking league. Straight up. I mean, you know, like, what he does, and he makes it look so seamless, it's crazy to me. You know? Like, yeah, I know that, like, Russell Westbrook was getting all these fucking triple doubles and shit, but, no, man, like, when Nikola Jokic does that shit, he makes it even more fucking, like, easier. Because... Russell Westbrook was just like, you know, he, he, he was throwing himself all over the fucking place just to get that shit done. This motherfucker, he doesn't have to do none of that shit. It just happens. He's just walking to a fucking triple-double every fucking game. He could do that if he wanted to. And I don't think he wants to do that. He's not a stat pat, uh, patter. You know, he's, he's not one of those guys. Like, he just wants to play some good ball, and he just wants to play fundamentals. And, you know, he wants to fucking, like, score the rock, get them, uh, you know, make sure that his fucking teammates are also fucking, uh, available and fucking, uh, contributing, and then, uh, I don't know, like, you know, he'll definitely get the fucking boards, because he's fat as shit, big as fuck, you know, why the fuck wouldn't he, right, I mean, if you're that fucking big and you're not getting no goddamn boards, I mean, what the fuck are you really doing, right, and, I mean, and that's what he did, you know, I mean, like, fucking, like, straight up sweep LeBron, bro. Yeah. When you fucking can sweep the fucking king, you, you know, niggas got to talk about you straight like that. And that's all I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, man, you know. Like, that was one of my, um, dark horses, you know, like, at the beginning of the season, I, I felt like these motherfuckers could really fucking make a run for it, and they did, you know, so... Shouts out to the Denver Nuggets. Shouts out to uh, Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray. Shouts out to my guy, KCP. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Yeah, man, I seen you motherfucking celebrating, dog. Yeah, that's what them two championships in one motherfucking parade, dog. Yeah, 2020 and 2023, motherfucker. Hey, man, nah, it's good to see KCP really celebrating that shit. Because you deserve it. You killed it. You killed it, man. Especially with the Denver Nuggets. You was, you know, you, you was lights out. You was doing your thing. But, you you know, obviously, we know as Laker fans, we know how, you know, how much you con- con- contributed uh, uh, for that Lakers championship, especially in the last series, like, you know. You came through, and uh, Laker fans will never forget it, so we happy for KCP, for real. Um, what else? Okay. Who else? Aaron Gordon, I see you. Aaron Gordon finally got that motherfucking revenge, you know, for the, uh, for that dunk contest where he got snuffed, you know, being such a phenomenal dunker that Aaron Gordon is. For him not to have a dunk contest uh, trophy is uh, is blasphemous. I don't understand why that's the NBA allowed that shit to happen. That's bullshit. You give that man a goddamn dunking trophy. That motherfucker dunk on your mama head, nigga. Straight like that. That's cool. Aaron Gordon, he fucking, you know, showed up. And he made sure that, you know, like, he, he, you know, like, he made sure, like, like, Dwayne Wade need to shut the fuck up. He need to get his motherfucking, like, eyes checked. And, you know, before he, you know, he, he want to get into, like, judging some fucking, uh, dunking contests and shit. Because we clearly know that motherfucker, Aaron Gordon, deserves a goddamn NBA dunking championship fucking trophy or whatever the fuck they give. I don't know what the fuck they give these days because that shit is trash. You motherfuckers come up with some more motherfucking ingenious shit. Because we're tired of watching that bullshit. You dig? Anyways. We're going to move away from that. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, it, It's going to be, like, it's going to be pretty slow from this point on moving forward. You know, in terms of, like, sports and shit. Because once the NBA, you know, stops... You know, nobody gives a fuck about hockey. I do, but, you know, nobody else does. I like to bet on it from some time to time, but shit. Nobody else gives a fuck about it. But, you know, NBA and hockey's done. Right? 
We don't got no other sports right now. Fucking football is going to take like what? I don't know. Like what's up? We in June? Da, da, da. Uh, yeah. yeah it's going to take a minute. Who gives a fuck? All right? So, I mean, when, when football comes around, it's fun. But it's going to take a minute for football to come around. So, like, this, this is the dead time, like, in terms of sports. Like, this is when the shit gets boring, like, you know? This is when motherfuckers start acting like they give a fuck about sports. They don't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, did you watch the U.S. Open, nigga? You don't watch the U.S. Open. Stop playing. <laughs> you don't watch the U.S. Open. We know that. Um, tennis or some shit, like, I don't know. No, nobody watched none of that bullshit, right? Baseball, yeah, of course, you know, go Dodgers always and shit. Like, I love the Dodgers, but nigga, I'm not trying to watch, like, uh, like, Game 52. You know, like, some random ass fucking day and shit at night. I don't give a fuck, unless I'm betting on it. And, uh, you know, betting on uh, baseball is, like, it's kind of difficult sometimes, you know, because, uh, you know, people that bet, they know what I'm talking about. It really is, you know, because I try to put, like, multiple, uh, multiple, you know, parlay bets on baseball. And it's just, like, it just never really translates, you know, accordingly. Not like not like an NBA, like, three or four game parlay. Like, that's, that, that seems reasonable. That feels like you could actually do it. But baseball is like, you know. You try to put four game parlays, like three of them is wrong and one of them is right. Like, yeah, it's kind of difficult. But, you know, I'm keep trying though, because I'm trying to hit a seven, eight legger. I need that. Ah. But, uh, uh, go Dodgers. I think they're doing okay. Um, you know, I think they got an ace right now that's like a good pitcher. I don't know the kid name, but, you know. We'll see. I think they definitely have, uh, w- you know, what it takes to, you know, get into postseason play uh, in October. Um, so, yeah, man. That's what it is. But, uh, yeah, today, you know, we in the, uh, we in the house. We in the house. No, I'm playing. Um, hey, I mean, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, this is the... 420 Podcast, and I am your host, Donnie Danko. Today, I am here by myself, solo. Um, just talking about, you know, everything. You know, we, you know, uh, we talked about, obviously, the NBA Finals. We talked about, um, you know, how, how the MLB um, uh, season's going right now. Um... Let's talk about a few other things that has really been popping up, you know. Um, yeah. I don't have nobody come in, you know, to talk to me today. So we're going to do this shit by ourselves. And we're going to try to carry this shit on our own, you know. Uh, I want to talk about a few things about life, you know. Like, first and foremost in life, look, dog. Worry about yourself. Worry about your money. Don't give a fuck about nobody else. Fuck everybody. Don't try to help everybody. Because when you ain't got shit, the motherfuckers ain't going to do nothing. They're not going to even pick up your goddamn calls. And uh, and you're going to feel salty. So hold your fucking money and tell these motherfuckers I ain't got it, nigga. Holler at me later when I got it. You dig? Real talk. That's, that's real talk. That's uh, food for thought. I want my young motherfuckers to really listen to that shit. And really take something from it. Because that's how life is. Motherfuckers that hit you up when you're up. And completely, completely did you. And block you and ghost you and all that other dumb shit. When you ain't got shit. And you're down. You dig? Let's not do that, young people. We got to be smart with our finances. Don't just give your money to nobody. Right? Uh, All my young men. Don't let a bitch fucking just, you know, hey, you know, I, I, I'm I, a, I'm a money-gaining bitch. Like, nah, I don't give a fuck, bitch. If you're a money-gaining bitch, go get the money on your motherfucking own, bitch. I ain't got no money for your stupid ass. That pussy ain't worth that motherfucking money, bitch. 
You know that, and I know that. And your mama know that, nigga. Straight like that. And um, all, to all, my, all my independent bitches out there, all them hoes and shit, all tricking and shit. Bitch, get, get a goddamn motherfucking education. Get some motherfucking class, bitch. I know your mama gonna be fucking upset. You out here operating in that fucking order. You dig? Get some fucking education. Get your motherfucking mind right. And get that paper too, bitch. Because I know y'all capable. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mama. No, I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what we, what, oh, God. Okay. Man, like, you know, like, the world crazy, like, right now, man. For real. Like, stock market looking crazy. Bitcoin looking crazy. Cryptocurrency looking crazy. No. Going up, down, up, down, up, down. Like, like, what? XRP? XRP? Bitch, I had so much fucking XRP and shit. And I fucking said, man, fuck this stupid shit. This shit ain't popping ever. Now it's popping. A little bit. A little bit, something, something. But you know what? Fuck that shit. I know the shit. I know in the end, none of this shit gonna do nothing. Except for Bitcoin. Or Ethereum. Because you know what? Nah, I mean, I, I see real, real reasons for them things to really prosper, you know? Obviously, I was a big time cryptocurrency uh, holder. You know, really, like, got jumped into that early on. You know, probably like before anybody else, really, to be honest. Before it was really on, like, platforms. I, I figured out how to buy it when it wasn't on platforms. When we didn't have that Coinbase. When we ain't had it on Robinhood, you know. Or whatever other platform. But let's be honest. All them other fucking platforms suck ass. I want to let motherfuckers know that shit. All the other fucking cryptocurrency exchanges online suck fucking ass. You motherfuckers are trash and fucking nauseating and annoying. I'm sorry. With all you goddamn fucking, you know, uh, protocols of fucking protection and shit. Oh, you guys are fucking annoying. Okay, fuck cracking seven days to fucking withdraw cryptocurrency. Are you kidding me? Binance fucking 10 days of bullshit and then still not being able to fucking uh, withdraw shit or transfer because you guys have some fucked up ass error all the time. Fuck y'all, right? Uphold. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers. Don't tell me to cool down, motherfucker, and put me on a fucking hold for fucking... 60 fucking days just for transferring some fucking Ethereum? Fuck you. Okay? You guys fucking suck ass, alright? Crypto.com, you also suck ass, alright? With your fucked up ass fucking, like, you know, like not keeping up with the fucking, uh, you know, the actual price and having all this fucking, ew! Verify this, verify that, verify my fucking ass, motherfucker. Alright? Crypto.com. Fuck you. I'm mad as fuck you motherfuckers name my favorite fucking arena. Alright? It's still Staples Center, bitch! Straight like that. Also want to talk about the fact that, uh, you know, they, they, they want to, um, they want to rename LA Live to Peacock. Peacock? Peacock what? Peak this fucking cock! Bitch! Get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of these motherfuckers, man. Stop naming it. Hey, like, I'm st stop naming fucking monumental LA landmarks some shitty, stupid ass names, alright? Figueroa. Figueroa is a fucking legendary fucking street. You know why? Because I know, because I came down that motherfucker. And not on, uh, not, not in the da DTLA, I'm talking about kindness, you did. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah! Figueroa, that schoolboy Q, ha. crash talk, motherfucker. All my real ones know what I'm talking about, but anyway. Ha. Uh. Come on, like, let's not do that, man. LA Live, it's a good name. I don't understand why, why we want to change the peacock, peacock, 
Peacock Live, whatever the fuck y'all want to call that shit's whack. Peacock is whack. Alright? Peacock is whack. And Crypto.com is also whack because it's always going to be the goddamn staple center. We know that. The house that Kobe built. Yeah. Just stop playing with us. LA. Los Angelino. Laker fans, you dig? And Clipper fans too. But, uh. But, uh, um, yeah, stop playing with us, alright? Now, Peacock is fucking cock in your fucking bitch's mouth. Now, I'm just playing. Alright. Um. Uh, we're gonna. Let's just fucking, uh, you know, just move on and just, uh, get to another, another topic, cause, you know, this shit's got me hit. Alright? It's got me mad. Right. Uh. You know, you know, it's June 2023, 2023, 2023, motherfucker. That's what I want to say. It's June 2023. Holla. The real talk. I want to talk about, first and foremost, I want to talk about Trump, man. The motherfucker getting hit with all sorts of goddamn motherfucking legal trouble and shit. All sorts of goddamn allegations and. You know, and uh, accusations and charges. and This motherfucker is so stupid and crazy, man. For real. Look, I'm not going to share my political views and shit, you know. But I do fuck with Trump. I'll let you know. I fuck with Trump. That nigga crazy as hell. Yeah, he's straight gangster. See, my whole time, like, you know, um, ever since civics and government class and all that shit, you know, when we were studying presidents and shit, I always was like, damn, like, you know, it'd be crazy if a motherfucking president was just like, you know, just went rogue and shit, like, just went crazy, right? It, it, shit, it ain't take too long for me to witness that shit, because Trump, that motherfucker, this nigga did everything, and anything that you feel like a president wouldn't do, and even more, this nigga crazy as fuck, so, yeah, <laughs> but still, though, um, I'm just saying, like, this motherfucker, uh, you know, really in some fucking hot water. And really, I still feel like this motherfucker is going to come back. He's going to run for a fucking re-election. He's going to fucking win. I really do be- I do believe that. Quote me on that, home. Quote me on this. 6 No, real talk. Um, but, or, or he might go to prison. You know, like, look, I'm an American, man. Like, I don't want to see my, uh, uh. My my leaders, my world leaders, my leaders of the fucking free world. I don't want to see them go get incarcerated. Like that's a bad look for the whole country. So, like, please let's like figure out how to do this shit like some diplomatic way and shit. Where this thing will get slap on the wrist, tell that nigga wear a motherfucking like um uh knee knee bracelet or some ankle bracelet or some shit or blowing or some motherfucking like um. Like, I don't know, blowing in some fucking machine so, you know, that nigga not drunk or some shit. I don't know. I don't give a shit. But real talk, let's not put our world leaders in prison. That's a bad look. It's no, especially not Trump, because this motherfucker got us through goddamn COVID. And COVID was fucked up, man. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on. They keep having this one motherfucker keep getting on the goddamn fucking, like, TV and shit and say all this shit. And then they, they, they start shutting shit down. Motherfuckers start losing money. Motherfuckers start losing their fucking house. They got their cars. They lifestyle and all that shit. Nah. You know? This motherfucker got us through that. Alright? And then we got Biden and shit. This motherfucker came in. And he, what do you do? He just, you know, he just stopped all the goddamn stimulus. Everybody loved the stimulus. Now we ain't getting none of that shit. And nigga talking about we gotta pay them, uh, uh, fucking student loans back and shit, all right? Who's happy about that? Nobody, all right? Look, I'm, I'm not trying to campaign for Trump, all right? We can't put our world leaders in goddamn prison. That's it. That's all I want to say. Anyways, we'll move forward from that, right? I want everybody to, um, you know, subscribe to the um, 420 podcast Instagram. Okay, the 420 Instagram podcast with featuring Donnie Janko. Okay, please let's get let's get this shit popping. All right, 
I love all my people from Los Angeles. Everybody else that's listening all over the motherfucking world. All over the motherfucking nation. You dig? It's beautiful, right? Alright. Look, today, I don't got a, um, we ain't got no guest speakers. We don't got no, uh, anybody, like, sitting in with us, you know, so it's going to be me. I'm going to do my thing, and and it's, that's just what it is, all right? I want to talk about some of the new movies that came out, all right? I want to uh, see, like, uh, how, how, how everybody feeling about these new movies that came out recently, okay? You know, Spider-Man Across the spider Burst that, out. That movie I actually did watch, and it's fantastic, okay? Better than the first part. This is a good movie. It's a great animated film. Uh, they really did their thing, and if y'all like some, you know, if y'all like some uh, real fucking uh, S- Spider-Man and Marvel fans and shit like that, y'all gonna love this, for real. This is a love letter to Spider-Man. Y'all gonna love it. Um, the Little Mermaid, man, I, I did watch that shit too. Uh, you know, like, I really don't like those, uh, uh, you know, live action adaptations that Disney's been doing, that they've been just churning the fuck out. Uh, you know, The Little Mermaid, you know, mid. Mid. In my opinion, it's mid. Okay. I've seen better live, uh, live action Disney recreations. You know, like The Jungle Book was fire, in my opinion. That was really good. Uh, Lion King was mid, you know. Um, so, you know, Disney, y'all, y'all got to do better if y'all want to y'all wanna keep doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to do better. For real. Um, what else? Um, another movie I watched not too long ago. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to talk about the Transformers. Transformers, um, Rise of the Beast, shit fire. Straight fire. Go watch that motherfucker. All right? Especially because if you was a fucking kid and you woke up like, uh, like 7 o'clock to go to school and shit and you saw... Transformers, Beast Wars, yeah, because I'm not that fucking old, you know what I'm saying, we watched Beast Wars, he was eating a goddamn cereal and shit, and, uh, you know, got excited, yeah, go watch this fucking film, this film is like, love letter to that shit, you dig, it's really good, but, yeah, and, yeah, so, that's all the films that I think everybody should be, like, checking out for, you know, um, pretty much it, yeah, um, Anyways, we're going to move on. I really don't got too much to say. All right, I've been smoking a lot of good potent-ass weed. I've been drinking a lot of good-ass fucking IPA beers. You know, I've been doing a lot of other illicit drugs as well. And uh, I've been, like, you know, enjoying myself. Donnie Danko, we out here. You know, we're doing our thing. And um, really, um, what else do I want to talk about? Like, all sports is done, so I really don't, really don't got shit to talk about because... Sports is really my thing, you know, betting, sports, all that, so, um, yeah, you know, like, baseball sucks, man, like, it really does suck, uh, especially in the middle of the fucking season, it's fucking whack, I know All-Star, All-Star weekend's coming up, that's fun, I know, I was, I was, I was at the last All-Star game, which actually happened in Los Angeles, and we loved it, that was so much fun, in Dodger Stadium, um, we don't know where it's at this year, but, you know, uh, whatever. Home run derby's fun. Um, yeah, so June, you know, June, July, August, you know, June gloom and all that shit. That shit, you know, it gets a little, you know, if you ain't got shit to do, it gets, it gets boring. If you got shit to do, it's fucking lit. So I hope all my listeners got some shit that they got to do. Some, you know, they engage in, whether it's school, summer school, um, some summer work situation, you know, some traveling, some summer romance, you know, fucking, fucking a baddie under the sunbeams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it's about. So, you know, make, make use of this summer, um, you know, because that's life, man, you know, life, you never know when they're going to take that shit from you, wow, gone. So make use of that. It's really important, all right? And, um, all right, so, like, I'm going to leave it at that, but, oh, yeah, yeah. Here, uh, one one more thing that I really, you know, I think I was discussing with my with my friends 
uh, earlier, we were just talking about like, um, man, like, 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 you know, like, uh, like, how bad it is to be labeled a crackhead. You know, like we were just talking about that shit. It's like, man, like, no, it really is. It's terrible to be labeled a crackhead, right? Like, like, man, like, I'd rather be. A, I'd rather be anything but a motherfucking crackhead. Be labeled a crackhead for real. Like, I'd rather be a cokehead. I'd rather be a pothead. I'd rather be a sweaker. I'd rather be a shermhead. I'd rather be a heroin junkie. I'd rather be a pill popper. I'd rather be a juicer. I'd rather be... I mean, I'd rather be a, a conspicuous consumer. A degenerate gambler, an adulterer, a deadbeat daddy. I mean, shit. I'd rather be all that shit. Uh, 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 like a psychedelic nuthead. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather be all that than be a goddamn crackhead, for real. So, um, i leave it at that. I'm going to tell y'all, don't smoke no goddamn crack, all right? Do everything else, but don't smoke no crack. That shit too bad. That shit bad for you, dog. Yeah. Donnie Dank, I'm, I'm signing out. This is episode two, you dig? I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.